How are you, Ms. Dr. Jan White? Great. Good. Now you Got haven't been with on. us like <laughs> your set. It was a little weak. I've done that myself, so don't feel bad. Okay. <laughs> and I do this almost every day. But what are you talking about today? I'm talking about older adults retaining their independence. Okay. And you know, we all want to age in place and stay in our home and we love being mm -hmm. around our own do environment. It our way. Right. And so we um, we know that there are certain criteria in mm -hmm. order for people to live in the community and to be safe in their own environment. At what point in your life do you start to think, oh, can I do this? Well, usually there's a triggering event. Usually for an older adult, there's an illness or mm -hmm. there's some kind of decline, some kind of a chronic illness. And so we have um, measurements. Uh, you know, aging okay. professionals, <laughs> you're not surprised. Make a checklist. Right. We go have, down it. That's good. It's a, it is a mm -hmm. checklist to help people decide if they're able to live safely in the community. Okay. And the first one I want to talk about is called an IADL, Independent Activities of Daily Living. All right. And these are the eight criteria that we need in order to live in our own home, our what own are they? place. The first one is you need to be able to use the telephone. Yeah, I'm that good makes at that. Sense. Okay. Uh, need to be able to shop. <laughs> I'm really good at yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> I am too. <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> and you need to be able to prepare food. Oh, dang. Okay. <laughs> you had to catch me somewhere, didn't you? <laughs> I'm going to start. Uh oh. Uh, housekeeping. I'm good at that. Yeah, but you know, you don't have to do heavy <laughs> housework, but you need to be able to at least clean up after yourself. And, okay. You know, so um, far, I'm basic, doing good. Just basic one. cleanup. Uh, the laundry. You need good to be able to do some laundry. Okay. And you need to be able to use transportation. Now, some people, uh, older people, let's not people talk about my driving skills. Have retired <laughs> from driving, but they still have alternatives, so they need to be able to call the bus or you know arrange transportation. Hey, can you pick me up? Take me here. Right. Gotcha. Um, you need to. This is very important. You need to be able to handle your medications, and that means <laughs> that you need to be prescription medication, and you need to be able to understand. Uh, how to take your medicine and take it on time. And follow the instructions. And right. And finally, you need to be able to handle finances. Good at that. Okay. So often, older adults who hmm. are not able to do one or more of these, they usually have a family member or uh, someone who can help them out mm -hmm. in order to remain safe and in their own home. Now, how do you know when it's time to either hire a caregiver or move into assisted living. That's a big decision. Well, your utilities get cut off. You didn't pay your bills at right. the time. Um, right. I'm in the hospital. My medication's not right. Right. But again, we have hmm. a checklist, <laughs> and it's a six-item okay. instrument called Activities of Daily Living. Okay. And these are um, physical activities that you need to be able to perform. And if you cannot perform one or more of these, then you will need a caregiver for 12 to 24 hours a day. Wow. Okay. That's a long uh, time. The first one is you need to be able to feed yourself. <laughs> that's important. Okay, that's very important. You need to be able to have bladder control <laughs> and <True>. the other. <laughs> And you need to have, you need to be continent, let's put it that gotcha. way. Gotcha. Okay. Um, but now there are, there are <laughs> products you can buy, you know, to help with that. Welcome back, Jan. Okay. <laughs> Uh, it's a family show. Uh, you need to be able to transfer. What does transfer mean? You need to be able to get up and down, okay? Up and down out of a chair and up and down off the commode. Very good, Tom. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you need to be able to dress yourself. Okay. Okay. And you need to be able to bathe yourself. Uh, that's important. Okay. So that's the checklist. Those those are the self care okay. items that you need to do. So if you can't do yeah, one or more, if you can't more, do any of those, that's well, difficult. it's one or more because these are things that you need to be able to do in mm -hmm. order to you know maintain your self-care. So there are caregivers that can just come in for a couple hours a day if you just needed help with the shower maybe. Right, but if you cannot do one or more of these, you may need someone for 12 to 24 hours. And I think it would be my professional recommendation if you need someone for 24 hours, mm -hmm. then that's you time to, to go somewhere. to assisted living because you can't depend on a caregiver mm -hmm. to do all of those things for you. You know, then you have caregiver burnout. You would. 
And usually, I mean, that's difficult to and for, to tell someone difficult. that they have to leave their home and it, yes, it's and sad for them. It is. It's an emotional decision. But you know. Um, if you work with a, an aging professional, a um, care manager, mm -hmm. and you plan ahead and you realize I'm having more difficulty with, with these things, don't ignore that. You know, acknowledge that and say, hey, you know, I, I will have to either try and do these things or learn how to do them again, or I'm going to have to make other arrangements. Get in this fix-it mode. If there's something exactly. wrong, I'm always like, there's a solution to fix this. You're right. You're That's right. Like there my is. Job. I believe that too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Always a way to make it better. Right, yes, a oh, wise one. You just got a complaint. Oh, God, I just got what? a complaint. Yeah, because according to Frank Scrimpture, who's running the phones right now uh, in here, and that there's a lot of people watching this morning that can't do a lot of these things, and you're sitting over there laughing about it. Your day oh. will come. My day will come. But right now, I can shower. I can do finances. I can. You're 42. Oh, my gosh. Well, then, when you can't do it, you get help. You don't laugh at them. What can't you do, JC? I can do everything. Wow, is it quiet? I can, in I here? can do everything. <laughs> Your mic's not on either. Go away. All right. Did someone really call and Yes, they did. Me? I am so sorry, whoever that was. That You're offending people this I'm morning. I'm offending people this morning. Usually it's Jamie. Wow. But actually, Gloria, you, 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 you have this upbeat personality that we just adore. I'm always happy. Yeah, that's right. So she's not she's laughing at you. I'm not laughing at you. She's laughing I'm laughing with at you. JC, but I'm not laughing at you guys at home. That's sad. But if you can't do those things, you need to get help. Exactly. Exactly. So who do and, they call? And it's an emotional issue. Well, <laughs> you know, I still get a lot of calls, even though I see very few clients because I'm, now I'm teaching full time. But um, I suggest that if you need a care manager to help you coordinate and find mm -hmm. good caregivers, go to the website www.caremanager.org, and those are the certified good. caregivers for older adults. And if you're getting someone to come into your home, make sure you check them out. Oh yes, but if you That's go to huge. if you go to that website, they are certified caregivers, and so they they've will already point done the background in the right direction. Yes, they okay. will. Well, thank you, Dr. Janet. You're welcome. For so Gee, long, Dr. White. first time back, I make someone mad. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Dr. Dan White, always good to have you with us. And Thank you're going to be joining us like once a month on Tuesdays. Or, or more often. If you if, can. Yeah, sure. Great. All right. Well, any other topics or any other phone calls, if you'd like to call us, 230-4988. I'll be happy to take your call. We're going to take a quick break. Stay with us. We'll be right back.